Guys, it's time to overdrive the front end of the SCX6 Honcho. This is straight axle, does not have the portals on it. Boom, ring and pinion right here. I'm gonna get to the table, put these in, and see how it compares to the stock setup. Let's go. And here they are. These replace the stock ring and pinion. They go right into the stock housing or the Vitavon housings, or possibly even the trio housings. I don't see why they wouldn't. Let's go and get these put into mine. I gotta tell you guys, none of those bolts were tight. The Vitavon pinion on the right, the stock one on the left. Now the both pinion gears feel pretty good, but you can tell the Vitavon got a little bit more to it. Now the ring gears, this right here, as best I can tell is a centered ring gear. This is a machined 45 grade steel hardened ring gear, big difference. And we are ready to go. I did check the rear axle. The ring gear bolts were tight, but I did add some other butter to it. So the front end is ready to go. I also moved the shims on the rear to the ring gear side to kind of tighten up the mesh a little bit. But you know what? We're ready to go. And yes, I did get some footage before I ever did this. Yep, that's how I'm gonna test the steering. Let's go. And now we got some crawling. Let's see, now, the vast majority of the time when I see overdrive, it helps with the steering. It really does. Now, speaking of steering, this servo is about to have to come out of here. I mean, it's running pretty good. I haven't broken it yet, but it's time to bring that up the specs. A uh, direct power servo is where it's at with these things because of the load on the ESC. And it doesn't matter whether you have a Castle ESC or not. You really need direct power servo on things like this. And I got into a pickle right there. Let's see if I can get that front bumper to clear. Okay, yeah, barely. Woo! Let's get this thing to settle down. There we go. Wow, it still didn't flex and touch though, did it? Look at that tire. It's not all the way to the edge of the wheel either. Oh, now look, I'm on the slider over here. So that is actually helping me out quite a bit. Now, as far as overdrive, crawling in the rocks and all that stuff, I really don't notice much of a difference in the rocks on climbs. I know guys talk about, oh, oh, it climbs so much better. And you know, 
Maybe it does. But for the most part, what I see is that it helps out much better in turning, both in the rocks, out of the rocks, everywhere. But you can see my overall steering angles are not all that great. So when I do my steering servo, um, I don't know if I want to keep the stock radio or not. Maybe, I don't know. But I kind of like being able to see that, the little indicator there. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Climbing beautifully. All right, make it on up through there. There we go. Beautiful climber. The larger the vehicle, the smaller the obstacles are in relation to that vehicle. So, yeah, oh, it hooked on that rock, good. Got some tire roll there, but it hooked it great. Let me see here. It's working really good, really good. Well, yes. The overdrive did make a difference. It's, it's not too much overdrive though, but it's enough that it did make a difference on the turn test. As far as the rocks go in the rocks, I didn't really notice a difference there. Maybe it needs more overdrive or like some underdrive or something like that to really make it noticeable in the rocks. For me, nah, but it does turn a little bit better. I think the next upgrade is like I mentioned, I've got to go direct power with the servo. It's time. I've got everything beefed up all around it. It is time to put some power into the steering. So that's up next, but hmm, yeah, I think we'll be good. Guys, check that description. Use those links. I'll, I'll link up all this stuff down below. Um, they are affiliate links, A main eBay, Amazon Horizon, and it really helps out the channel when you guys use them. So, you guys have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.